Okay, so um, in this package here we have the uh, science boy that we're about to deploy. Um, all of the yachts carry them and we'll explain a bit more once we get it back. We've just passed 25 degrees of latitude south, uh, which is basically the, the area of the world that they need more boys like this and more information. So we're going to take it back and uh, get it unwrapped and ready to deploy. They used to come, remember how much plastic and cardboard and everything they used to Yeah, so the whole thing used to be, we'd normally carry it wrapped in plastic and they just had cardboard and bits and pieces, but uh, this protects it really nicely and, uh, you know, in the next legs of the race we'll also be carrying more boys to, to, do, to drop off, you know, deep in the Southern Ocean and we'll reuse this back for the whole race, so it uh, saves a lot, of, a lot of packaging and materials that otherwise we would have we carried until the end of the leg and thrown in the bin, so always good. So basically here we have the, the main unit itself and then it has uh, a drogue that goes behind it which just helps it uh, not blow across the surface of the water, it just anchors it a bit more stably and uh, it'll drift slower effectively. Um, in the unit itself we have a sea temperature monitor, a barom barometric pressure monitor, uh, a iridium satellite connection. Uh, so basically, that, that's how all the, the data from the unit uh, is, you know, is received back on land. And also an AIS transmitter. Um, so basically, if people are traveling past in boats, uh, this will actually come up on the navigation system. Because uh, obviously, you know, running into this wouldn't be good. So the reason why we carry these is we end up in, you know, pretty remote parts of the world where not many boats or people travel. Uh, and it's really important for scientists to have have the information of the, you know, the sea temperature, the water currents, the, the waves, etc. in those areas, um, you know, for weather forecasting and rescue eventually, you know, there's, there's lots and lots of things that they, they use the information for. And, you know, we're unluckily or luckily enough to travel to these places, however you look at it. Uh, so, you know, it's a, um, it's important that we do Things we do for science. Uh, yeah, exactly. Mid, mid carnage here. So. I've just got to pull this pin out here, which will activate the unit. And then all there is, we'll do a very quick bear away, deploy it, and then we'll be back up to speed and, and sailing away. So I'll pull this pin out here, five beeps, and it's ready to go. All right. And then, Sapphire, you're going to record a location? Away we go. Yep, so units deployed, activated, and it'll already be recording data for them, so uh, now if we go at full speed again. You putting in a waypoint stuff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then you're gonna get up after. Okay, thank you. There we go. Have you got some paperwork you gotta do? Yeah. Three, two, one, off. Uh, you guys get up there? Yeah.